To discuss China's space program, I'm joined by Yang Yugong in Beijing. He's a professor at the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. What are some of the biggest goals for China's space program, both short and long term, would you say? Uh, well, uh, the short-term goal of China's space program is to establish its own space station uh, in low Earth orbit uh, and also accomplish the robotic lunar exploration program. Uh, and in the future, uh, maybe by uh, 2030, China uh, hopes to become an advanced country uh, because now it is already a big country in space field. And in the future, it hopes to become an advanced country in the world. So to achieve the goal, it still has many uh, breakthroughs to have. Uh, one of the things being discussed, a manned lunar program, perhaps. Uh, well, uh, the lunar program, the current, we, uh, as mentioned, is already in the third stage. We already have a successful soft landing on the moon by uh, Chang'e 3 uh, probe. Uh, in the future, uh, maybe the next year or the year after next, we will have Chang'e 5 mission, which will uh, have the sample return from the moon. And uh, in, also, uh, we have Chang'e 4 mission, which will have a soft landing on the far side of the moon, which has ne never been done by any country before. And on the far side of the moon, it will be very meaningful to establish a permanent uh, base for the human being because you see on the far side of the moon, there are permanent uh, shadow areas which have water resources there. What do you think are some of the challenges for the program as it continues to grow? Uh, well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, China is already a very big country in the space field. We have uh, many launches just after uh, U.S. and Russia, uh, but we ha still have many key technologies to master. Uh, for instance, in the future sample return mission, we have to solve the problem of the uh, rendezvous on the lunar orbit. And for the future manned missions uh, of the future space station, uh, we have to uh, have breakthrough for the midterm and long-term duration of manned stay in space. And also, the regenerative life support system for, uh, for the future space station is also a critical part for us. We've seen a lot of interconnectivity uh, with uh, countries working together uh, in, in space. How do you envision China working together, perhaps with other countries, uh, with their space programs in the future? Actually speaking, China is already have a very close relationship with Russia and ESA. We already have many uh, joint experiments and or even joint missions, uh, for instance, such as the Double Star program with ESA, which is a scientific research program. And also, uh, we have the uh, fly, uh, Firefly One, uh, the Mars probe with Russia. Uh, in the future, I believe we can have more uh, cooperation with uh, the United States. Uh, just this week, I was invited by the uh, American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics to attend the conference in the U.S. But it is a pity that the uh, U.S. Embassy in Beijing refused to give me the visa. I hope that the U.S. Department of uh, State can pay some attention to this issue. And the China Aerospace is open, to, always open to the whole world. And I hope in the future, especially in the field of human space flight and deep space ex exploration, I believe that uh, China and the U.S. have many uh, fields can cooperate together. Well, Mr. Young, I hope they're watching the broadcast and they can uh, fulfill your wish and that you can come here to the United States. Uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, from Beijing.